Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to do the quest fairy tale part 1, Growing Pains. The quest requirements are Lost City and Nature Spirit. There are no stats requirements, but you will need to be able to kill a combat 111, either via safe spot flinching or fighting it. If you're going to fight it, uh, I suggest having 43 prayer to have protected from melee. For the items needed are a Dramon Staff, a Spade, a Ghost Beak Amulet, Secateurs, and 3 random items from a list of 32. And I'm going to buy them during the quest. For the recommended items are 2 stamina potions of 4 doses and some weight reducing armor because we're not going to fight anything except during the final part and we're going to bank beforehand. Also, teleportation methods to 5 NPC farmers that can protect your crops. It doesn't matter which ones, but if you're going to follow me, you just need one Varrock teleport. Also a extra Varrock teleport to buy the 3 random items from the Grand Exchange. If you were given an untradeable item or it doesn't buy from the Grand Exchange, I'm going to list every single item in the description of this video how to get all these items without trading. Also one Felador teleport and then some food to pass aggressive dark wizards around combat 30. Also a teleportation method to the nature spirit. This spirit is located in the southwestern part of the Mordmire swamp. So I suggest either teleporting to Cannabis and run through the swamp or either uh, use your ectophil, run to Cannabis and run through the swamp or the last option which I'm going to use is the minigame of Morton and then I'm just going to run through this zigzag path until you are at the nature spirits grotto. And then lastly one teleportation method to Xanaris. I will be using the Lumbridge home teleport. Where to start this quest is right here in Draenor village, a little bit southwest of the Draenor market. You'll find Martin, the NPC with the farming cape. Talk to him. Select the second option about the quest. Select the first option, anything I can help with. Just keep pressing the spacebar. Then just select the first option to agree. Keep pressing the spacebar. And he now asks you to ask five other farmers. First, let's go a little bit northwest to the Falador farm. So, go enter the cabbage field, and north of the cabbage field, you'll already find the first NPC which can uh, protect your crops called Estlan. Talk to him. Select the first option, are you a member of the group of advanced guard bearers? And then just keep pressing the spacebar. And nothing in particular. Next, you're just going to need to find 5 other random gardeners to talk to them and the 5th one will automatically tell you about fairies. If you're going to follow me, just teleport to the rock. And once you're there, go a little bit northeast and go to the tree patch of Varrock. Near the tree patch you should find an NPC in guard outfit. Talk to Tresnor. Select the first option. About him being in the gag. After talking to Tresnor, go back south to the Varrock square and we're now going to the Champions Guild. Be sure to drink a stamina potion dose and just keep running south, exit uh, Farrakh and go to the Champions Guild. Just follow the brown path after exiting uh, Farrakh and you're already there. Go to the farm patch just west of the uh, Champions Guild which is a bush and there you should find Dreven. Talk to him. Select the first option about him being a member of the gag. Just keep pressing the spacebar. Then just uh, continue running south. Run south of the Champions Guild. 
and just keep following River Lum south until you are at a hops patch. Near this hop patch you should find another gag member. Talk to Vesquen. First option. And it is already 4 done. The next farmer I'm going to talk to is at the Lumbridge tree patch. So I'm going to run all the way there. The Varak tree patch is just located west of the Lumbridge castle. Alright, I just arrived at the Lumbridge tree patch. Talk to Fayeth. The first option. Because she is the fifth gag member, she will tell you about the fairies. If you now check your quest log, you should report this to Martin. Just head west and return to Draenor Village and go to Martin. Alright, when you've returned in Draenor, talk to Martin about the quest. Keep pressing the spacebar. He will believe about the fairies and there is where we'll need to go next. So go southeast through the Lumbridge Swamp, go to the shed and go to Xanaris. Alright, so east of Father Ernie's house, east of the Lumbridge Swamp entrance, and then also east of the Water Mystery Ruins. There you'll find a shed. Wield your Dremen staff, open the door, and then run south. We're now going to the Fairy Godfather. Just keep going south. When there are three options, just take the southern one and go to the Slayer Master of Xanaris. Near the Godfather throne, you should find the Fairy Godfather. Talk to him. Select the second option, where is the Fairy Queen? And then after the conversation is over, we will need to go to the nurse. So go north and go to the Xanaris bank. The nurse is located in her clinic, which is located north of uh, the Xanaris bank. So just go all the way west to the western wall of Xanaris. And you should find a little alcove going north. In that little room north of the bank, you should find one NPC. Talk to Fair Enough. Keep pressing the spacebar. And she will give you the symptoms list. We will need to give this to a dark wizard, 
in the Dark Desert Tower. So teleport to Felador. And then just simply run west to the western bank. Now we need to pass a couple of aggressive wizards around Comet 30. So if you are low level be sure to bring some food. And go to the western shortcut sign on the western wall. Climb over this crumbling wall. Then just go southwest. Do you see some dead trees on your minimap? Near those dead trees you should find a tower. Run towards it and climb up the staircase. Then climb up the staircase to the third floor. And here you should find a couple of dark wizards. You should find Zangar Horfire. Talk to him. Skip through the dialogue and he should mention another NPC. After pressing the spacebar, a lot. Alright, climb down the staircase, back to the main floor, and we're now going uh, east, and then south. We're now going to the uh, air elementals, and near those elementals, you should find an NPC called uh, Mortmeyer Magnilius. There's where we need to go next, so south of Feldor and also a little bit south of the air altar you should find that NPC. Alright, when you've arrived south of the air altar you should find an NPC called Malignius Mortifier. Talk to him. Select the second option that you need help fighting Tanglefoot. Keep pressing the spacebar until he says that he will need a skull from Draenor. Since we're pretty much near Draenor, just keep running east and run to the Draenor Manor. When you've arrived at the Draenor Manor's property, just go to the back, either going uh, west of the building or east, doesn't matter, we just need to go uh, directly north of the building, of the manor, just keep going to the northern side until you should find some gallows, west of that gallows you should find a grave, go stand on top of it and dig with your spade. Keep digging until you have the Draenor Skull. Once you have this, return to uh, Magnilius Mortifier. So have fun running all the way back. Teleport to Felador and running south, it's pretty much the same time length as uh, running back, so that's why I didn't bring those along. Alright, when you've returned to the Mortifier, talk to him. Second option about defeating Tanglefoot. Keep pressing the spacebar and he will tell you how to enchant your Secateurs. He will tell you that you will need to bring three random items to the Nature Spirit. To check what these are, just go to your quest log of Fairytale Part 1 and you will see what these are. 
To get these items, I'm first going to Varak and try to buy them. If those items do not buy, or you have a trade restriction, I'm going to put every single item that the uh, mortifier can list in the description with how to get them without trading. So first I'm going to try to buy them from the Grand Exchange, and if that doesn't work, then I will need to get them myself. Alright, and all my items have bought in the Grand Exchange, so I'm just going to collect. And now I can go to the Nature Spirit. I'm going to use the uh, minigame teleport, so press the red splatter in your uh, quest list. Go to minigames, go to the S, Shades of Morton, and the teleport. So once again, I will list everything in the description of this uh, video to get all these items if you're not able to buy them from the Grand Exchange. So be sure that you have all these items and go to the Nature Spirit. Alrighty, I have already arrived. Just jump the bridge, go north, click on the hole in the grotto to enter, and there you should find the nature spirit. Talk to him, but be sure that you have equipped your Ghost Peak amulet to be able to. And just keep pressing the spacebar, and he will enchant the uh, secateurs that you have brought in your inventory. Alright, now it's time to fight the Comet 111 in Xanaris. So first, teleport to Xanaris. I will be using my Lumbridge Home Teleport. And now I'm going to run to the Xanaris Bank to prepare the fight.
all right here at the Zenris bank you don't need your spade anymore or your cash pile what you do need is uh, one stamina potion dose that should be helpful and then some food armor and weapon to kill the bad 111 but your weapon must be these magic secateurs since I'm going to uh, flinch Tanglefoot to death I'm not going to bring along my heavy armor because I should not be able to take any damage or maybe one or two hits at most so I'm just going to bring along a little bit of food maybe like five lobsters one stamina potion dose and that should be it if you're going to fight it uh, regularly just be sure to wear some prayer uh, restoring armor and some prayer potions and have 43 prayer because the magic secateurs hit very unlikely it might be also so recommended to bring at least two stamina potion doses because after the fight we will need to run back to the fairy godfather to complete our quest so when you think you are prepared go southeast and go to the cosmic altar go to the water signs then go south towards the transportation sign and from there just keep running south and then follow this uh, little alcove you should find some uh, shortcut signs if you have 73 uh, or 66 agility go through these shortcuts if you don't just go all the way around Alright, when you've arrived to the cosmic altar, go to the western wall and you should see on your minimap some uh, brown cavish thing. There you should find a gap through the wall, squeeze through it. The NPC next to you will wish you good luck and then just follow this cave. You can easily ignore the baby tanglefoots of Comet 45, they are unaggressive. Just keep following the dungeon until the path splits to uh, west and east take the western one and in this western room you should find a bigger tanglefoot which is come at 111 so now it's time to fight it just attack it and run south to the corner where you just came through so you just need to stand a little one square east of that little hallway that you just came through. Now you can see that uh, Tanglefoot is stuck within this corner. Just attack it once and go back to that one square east. Now you just need to wait until the health bar, the health bar of Tanglefoot has disappeared. Attack it once more and return to the square. Just keep doing this until Tanglefoot is dead. Or you can just simply attack it, use protect from melee, and do it that way. That will take less time. Now depending on your farming level, this will take a long time. Last time I did this was on deadman mode and that took me around 10 minutes to kill this creature. Fuck. If you messed up, just go back to the corner, go back to your eastern uh, square next to the hallway and just place him back stuck in that corner. I got bored, I'm just going to do the last 20 damage with protect from melee on. You get the idea how to kill it with just flinching if you don't have 43 prayer. Alright, once it's dead it will drop the queen's secateurs, take it, exit the cave and return to the fairy godfather to complete your quest.
Alright, here back at the Fairy Godfather, simply talk to him. And congratulations, you've completed a fairy tale growing pains. You are rewarded with 2 quest points, 3500 farm experience, 2000 attack and 1000 magic. Now if you want to unlock the fairy rings, you don't need to have the stats required to complete fairy tale part 2. Just go back to Martin in Draenor Village, talk to him, because the first uh, 5 minutes of this quest is just waiting. So what I suggest you to do is first go north, exit uh, Xanaris, go to Draenor, start the Fairy Tale Part 2 quest, because after starting this quest you will need to wait 5 minutes for Martin to check his crops, and after that you will be able to continue the quest. So within those 5 minutes you could buy the items required to complete this quest. This was my guide how to do Fairy Tales Part 1 quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.